Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to count total files in folder directly using csr.net. So this is the code to find out the total numbers of files inside the folder. So the first here, we need to use system namespace. So if I give the comment on system namespace, here you can directly see in console clause there is the problems because the console clause definition that comes under system namespace so this namespace that require now here after the name namespace that require system.io so here I am getting the masses on directory info and file info search option this three is uh, this is the clause and here this is the clause and this is the enumerator so this so uh, all definition that comes under system.io namespace so if i remove this now here the error that out now the important uh, clause that i use uh, directory info and here file info is the clause and here this is the enumerator so with the help of directory info so we can here create moving enumerating through the directories and subdirectories so this is about directory info and here this is the object new directory info and inside there here I have given the path so you should give the correct path now here at this path I have some files so see user Adam desktop and inside desktop there is the uh, folder gems and here you can see all uh, four files inside the directory and uh, here one file inside the sub directory so directory under directory it's called sub directory now this is the path here you can see and uh, you should give meaningful path you need to copy this path and here after you need to paste there inside the uh, double code and here at the rate you need to encode now here after file info this is the array type class and f is the object d and this is the object of directory info that uh, call get files so here it return the file list from the current directory matching given search pattern so here if you give a star that will search all file but if you give a dot to txt so like that if you give dot txt so it will search only text file so if you want to search all then here you need to give a star now here after search option this is the enumerator so the use of uh, this enumerator is specify whether search the current directory okay and the uh, current directory and sub directory so here inside to uh, search option if you give a dot then that call or top directory option so with the help of top directory option so it will only display current directory in search operation so here inside uh, here this is the directory now if I go gems inside the uh, gems or uh, there is so uh, total numbers of files that display 4 okay because this is the here total numbers of 4 files is there and uh, this or uh, display only 4 and uh, here console.write f length so total number of length so this all searching value that uh, uh, store index of array so if the file is here or uh, this all so and zero index that will do the indexing according to files so suppose the zero index that is stored at node one this two hello three or z so total that count to four okay f dot length total length that four now this value is now here you can uh, convert into a string and that will display the values now here after let's uh, run and check the output so here definitely that display the output 4 
okay so here you can see total it's a displaying four because top directory that to uh, display or uh, that only searching on the folder not sub folder but uh, there is the uh, other option we have if you are giving their all directories so by using this it will uh, search the files inside the directory as well as uh, inside sub directory so here this will search so this the directory for files is there and inside the sub directory there is a one so four plus one that count five so if i run so here you can see the output it will display five five it's a displaying so this is the way we can here search or count the files inside the folder using csop.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you